Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to use green screen with Final Cut Pro. So the thing you want to do is open Final Cut Pro. And then, I already have the videos, but the, you can import it from files, import and files again. Or shift Control i So after you import it, you're just going to take one, one of the green screen and drag it down there. But however, this is not this is not green screen enabled. So the thing you have to do is click on this box, go to keyer keying, and then take the tab that says keyer and then drag it onto the video. So this made the, the video green screen enabled, as you can see the back background. I'm just gonna take this now. So the second thing you want to do is actually take a non green screen video that you want to put as a background and then just drag it. But however, not on top of it, you have to go to do it below it. And that's it. So to add more, um, some of the videos are not good. As you can see, there is some black dots. So we can fix it by cropping this button there and then just decrease it. however you want it this whole thing there then done or not okay that's a very short, okay so this is how you might do it and then to add more effects, you might add the onboard Final Cut Pro sound effects. So the thing I'm going to do there is just click. And I'm just going to write wind. And then it will switch all the wind stuff I can put in. For example, I'm going to take number 4, maybe 5. And then just drag it below it as well. So this will create this. Or maybe the fourth one will do it. I don't know, it's just a small thing. So after you do it, you would ask, I want to make the background faster. And it's a bit complicated with um, Final Cut Post, not like iMovie. So the thing you have to do is right click and then retime. And by then, you have a slow, fast, and a normal option. So I can do it as 20 times faster. And as you can see, the background goes quite fast, but it's on rendering mode. It still didn't render yet, so it's gonna lag. And that's it, really. And one of the th oh wait, and one of the things you can edit on the clip. It's by this. It's, it's basically it's fixing the mistakes in the video. So you have all this tabs stabilizing, and you have to, you can crop and you can fill in the blanks, the black blanks, and as you can see there, the audio as well. You can pan the audio and everything. And that's uh, and one of the things you have to do in audio is always make it go on stereo and, and not mono because it's gonna affect the channel and another thing which is quite complicated them than iMovie is to is to crop a movie or trim a movie so you can't if you right click you can't really find anything that would say split like iMovie so the thing you have to do is click I and by and then you could scroll and delete and put whatever you want in for example I don't want this part so then I will just jump so it is a bit tricky